Shivaji Maharaj. The fact that no Indian can mention his name without adding the word, Maharaj must tell you something about his greatness. A king who fought for the freedom of his people and not just his kingdom. He was a master strategist who defeated Absal Khan to his death in a one-on-one -on -one combat. At the time when kings in India were busy resting on their laurels, he built naval forts and warships. He is also called Father of Indian Navy. One of the other names he is known by is the Mountain Rat given his guerrilla warfare tactics. His awareness of the geography of his land, and guerrilla tactics like raiding, ambushing and surprise attacks on his enemies got him that name. He was one of the only rulers who stood up for women at that time. If anyone from his army touched a woman while raiding enemy land, he was severely punished. Kutalan Kutalan was the daughter of the Mongolian leader Kaidu and the niece of Kublai Khan. She was described by Kaidu and Kublai Khan to be a superb warrior, Marco Polo and other great warriors of the time made solemn statements of her skills. She assisted her father, the most powerful man in Asia, in various battles. She, being an ultimate badass, raised an army of horses and set out to conquer the world. She declared that she would marry the man who could defeat her in wrestling. Whoever lost, had to surrender a couple of horses. She collected 10,000 horses for her army. In case you were wondering, she did get married, to Ghazan, the Mongol ruler in Persia. Melancomas of Korea Melancomas of Korea was an ancient boxer famous for never being touched by any opponent while fighting. The legend has it that he could stand still with his guard up for two days continuously. The man fought on the field like he was playing a game, a rigged game which he will always win. It is said that during his entire career as an Olympic boxer, he never punched a guy. Why would you fight if you can make the other person look like a five-year-old child throwing his hands mindlessly in the air? The Flame Finally, a warrior whose name justifies his reputation. Flamma, aka, the Flame, was an ancient Roman gladiator. While other gladiators were busy fighting for their freedom, he refused his freedom four times. Vlad the Impaler If you thought Vlad the Impaler is a pretentious name, this is the right time to know that he's famously known as Dracula. Yes, he was regarded as the Lord of Darkness. During his rule on Transylvania, the central region of modern-day Romania, he defeated many, including his famous win over the Ottoman Empire. Records suggest that he even managed to impress Pope Pius II with his fighting skills. Xiao Dun they say that craziness makes you excel at everything, this most definitely true for a warrior. Xiao Dun offered his services to Chao Chao and quickly became the military general. During one of the battles, an enemy arrow hit his eye. He pulled out the arrow with his own hands and also swallowed his eyeball. This definitely terrorized his enemies who started referring to him as Blind Xiao, the one-eyed warrior. Pyrrhus of Epirus Pyrrhus was a Greek general and statesman of the Hellenistic period. He isn't considered a good king, but definitely one of the greatest military commanders of his era. No tragedy managed to slow him down, he lost his firstborn son while fighting and immediately involved himself in a civil dispute in Argos. He was the greatest threat to the Romans. It is believed that the history would have been entirely different if he wasn't killed. Even though he won most battles, the blood he left behind was so horrifying that it gave birth to the term, Pyrrhic victory. The expression is still in use. Musashi Miyamoto Musashi Miyamoto was a known painter, a skillful Japanese swordsman and an invincible ronin. Which means, a samurai without a lord or master. Unlike other warriors, his strategy was to dress in rags. The most famous duel Miyamoto Musashi won, was against Sasaki Kojiro in 1612. He guessed the strategies of Kojiro even before the battle started and planned his tactics accordingly. He even perfected his sword fighting skill and wrote a guide titled, A Book of Five Rings. Genghis Khan The Mongol destroyer, as he's known, managed to conquer a quarter of the world's population. His men not only considered him the greatest man alive but quite literally God's gift, which is exactly how he received the name Holy Warrior. The craziest fact is that he has been titled the greenest invader in history, 
he actually eradicated 700 million tons of carbon from the atmosphere by beheading 40 million people. Alexander the Great. This is definitely a name you would expect to see on the list. Alexander the Great conquered an empire that stretched from the Balkans to the region today called Pakistan. He also fought on the front lines of every battle. He conquered Persia, India, and Egypt, among others while managing to remain undefeated.